Okay guys, you saw it right there. Uh, we are starting another game of Ultra Hardcore. Uh, this time we are not doing the group commentary, and uh, Garrett also had to go to work. So that's what's changed from last time. Um, we decided to change things up a bit. We normally go with... Um, uh, we normally go with the group commentary just because it's funnier that way. And, you know, stuff like that. Uh, that, and we do only have two Let's Players. So, I mean, it also allows you to kind of get a take on, you know, Garrett and Kyle's perspective of the game. Uh, this time you'll just have my perspective, and then if you do choose so, you can go and watch Buddies. So, I do have a bit of a plan. I was going to try and enact it last time, and I'm, I'm glad I can kind of tell you guys about this. I don't know if you guys watch. You probably do, since most of you guys are all fans of Kurt, and then he's been on it lately. Um, but if you've been watching, you know, the ultra hardcore that the Minecraft people do, then uh, you may have seen Zisto. And my plan is very similar to his. Um, except for I'm not going to build up any sort of base. I plan on being nomadic. You know, move in every you know every night. Hopefully, um, you know another thing I've been thinking of is the Nether. Uh, you know the Nether is totally a viable, a totally viable resource. Um, granted, I have to find a dungeon to find watermelon, but that's just for healing potions. I could also get harming potions and speed potions. So, uh, before I do that though, excuse me, I have something in my throat, uh, phlegm or something of that sort, but before I do that I need to find a snow biome so I can get a good bit of uh, snowballs to kill blazes, because fighting blazes could be, like, it is very risky to go to the nether. Um, another thing is I intend on lighting, lighting the forest on fire, just because fire spreads so quickly and whatnot. And uh, I'm not too concerned about everyone seeing my uh, lo my location because this is day one and uh, we don't have any sort of randomization spawning program or what have you so we just call it a truce for the first day. Uh, I totally did, in case any of you are unaware unaware of what the... ooh that's not a lot of coal but it'll have to do. If any of you are unaware of this mod Alright, so three pickaxes and a sword. Well, not three pickaxes, but two pickaxes. Axe, axe. And I want two swords. Oh, damn it. Alright. Um, put some monsters spawn in there. Kill some people. Uh... Priority number one for day one is food. And that's pretty much it. Uh, food, chickens, if I see them, but that kind of falls under food. But they also provide uh, feathers for arrows. I believe we're playing on a... F oh, oh, chickens. Ooh, that is... That's some risky business right up here, man. This is... Alright, I probably shouldn't have taken that risk. But I don't care, I'm... Oh, damn. Come here, you feathered son of a bitch. Um... Let's see what we can see. I wonder if we can spot any other players from up here. I don't think so. Alright, let's head back down. Haha. -ha. Made it safely. I need to get down there and get those feathers. That one guy dropped. What a douche. Um, apples are another big thing. I mean, you need. I started to explain the mod, but I stopped. In Ultra Hardcore, you do not regain health. Um, even with a full hunger bar, once you lose it, it's gone. So, the only way to get health back is to either have a health potion or uh, a golden apple. 
Also, you're not allowed to um, uh, mine, like uh, path mining or strip mining is what I believe it's called. Come here, you bastard. Aha. Alright, um. Alright, that's, that's a pretty good haul, actually. Uh, you know what, I should probably grab. Uh, I want to kill this cow. Not only are cows a good food source, but they also drop some beginner's armor, which could prove very beneficial. This is a little weird. Normally, uh, you can rely on the other guys to come up with uh, some good dialogue to bounce off of, or what have you. But now it is just me. Uh, it's more about my plan. You know, like I said, uh, I tend on moving around a lot. Unless I do get the resources to make a nether portal. I do intend on going to the nether, just because I don't think anyone else is going to. So I don't have to worry about other players. Though, I do want to kind of try and have the portal out in the open-ish. Ooh, there's a cave. We can spend our first night in there. I do want other players to find it, because once they see it, they might go in just for shits and giggles. And I intend on punching a pig man on my way out. Um, I may not do it just because that's that's risky, risky business. Um, all right, not a very good cave. Not even coal. Um, these mountain ranges are not friendly in ultra hardcore. Unfortunately, I can never find them when I'm playing, you know, regular Minecraft. And the sun is setting. I'm gonna go get that coal over there. And probably set up shop in this hillside. Uh, I do not like that overhang that allows bad guys to spawn. Um, let's see. Out of my way. Oh. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Man, we're playing with these invisible world borders. So when you hit them, you just yeah, it shoots you back the other way. That is not cool. It's definitely not good. That coal could have been really beneficial. Iron, nice. Awesome. We probably wouldn't have found this if it wasn't for that world border, so I guess it's not a big deal. Uh, once we start to dig in for the night, like I said, there's no uh, no branch mining allowed. But um, you're allowed to dig down in a staircase-like pattern to try and find a cave. Now is when you have to start being cautious of other players as well, because this is when, uh, very soon is when uh, you're allowed to engage in PvP. You gotta be careful for these holes, you don't want to fall in any. Fall damage is definitely your enemy here. Um... You know what? Digging into one of these taller mountains could prove pretty beneficial because then I can kind of make little windows and look out. Though I really don't think anyone's going to be out at night. Um, by the looks of things, I'm the only one who went this way. So that's a plus. I don't have to worry about anyone. Um... Could swim out there, make my base on the water, that'd be kind of neat and secretive. Oh, Kevin fell down. So it's getting dark, I really don't want to be testing it. Ooh, skeleton, that's, that's some dangerous shit right there. Ooh, look at this. This could be a good place to set up camp for the first night. Oh, it's right by spawn. Shit. Stupid spawn protection. Um. Alright, this is... Yeah, this is getting too risky. Alright, um, let me make some torches so you guys can see. Um. 
Yeah, I know. I should have made a shovel, but I don't, I don't care. I want to dig down a little bit before I set up shop. Alright, this should be deep enough. Dig myself a little hole here. Um, we've all played a little bit, uh, and how things have been going, Frankie will probably be the first to die, then followed by me, and then Kevin normally beats Buddy. Hopefully I will win this time. I think something about being in the Skype call makes it a little bit different. Now it's just me and you guys. Um, I don't really plan on doing much editing. I may cut out some... Ooh, ooh, jeez. Ooh, Spidey, that's, that's actually a good thing. That's a good thing. Alright. He's probably above me, actually. So yeah, I'm just not going to mess with him. Get him in the daytime. Ooh, I definitely want to get this food cooking. Um, make some furnaces. Furn eye. Uh, put my chicken in one. Really shouldn't waste my coal. Uh, let's see. I can make a pair of boots. Let's put on my booties. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just eat this. Dig a little bit. I'll try and come up before that finishes cooking, so I can, you know, not waste the coal. Though I did cut down some more logs, so if need be. I don't have much wood on me, but I have enough to make it through the night. Oh, there's coal right there. Never mind, I'm good. Uh, I was just about to say I could make some charcoal, but my prayers have been answered. And of course, there goes my phone, and it was just an email, so nothing, nothing important. Uh, See, I'm trying to think of different stuff to talk about, just to uh, fill up the time. I'm gonna ask Buddy something. Or... Editing. See. Oh, 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 I think he's starving. Oh, cave spider. Oh, poison. Yeah, that, that means he found a... Wow, that's... Sucks to be Frankie. Um, I think you get two smelts out of a piece of wood. I'm not sure. Yeah, that'd be alright. We were talking about doing two-man teams. Uh, I guess I probably should tell them. That'll help out with the, the commentary too. Man, those cave spiders are just not worth it. I probably wouldn't have even gone for it. Um, I'm using more torches than I probably should, but YouTube tends to make videos darker. So. And it looks like I've found a pretty solid chunk of land here. Oh, something to talk about. I, you know, I bought Diablo 3 and it came with a little notepad. That, that's kind of neat. Um. Huh. He's already lost and he's dying again. 
but um, it, it comes with a little notepad, and you know it has some neat little water markings on it. I started to use that for my notes. I know I won't regret it in 20 years when it's. Oh, I made my way back under spawn. Would you look at that? Son of a bitch. That's right, just curve in here. And I hate the spawn protection shit. Uh, funny story, Garrett and I were, uh, caving on the server once and we found, uh, two dungeons, like, right next to each other and they both happened to be underneath the spawn. So, th we couldn't put torches, we couldn't break the spawners, we couldn't do anything. So we blocked it in the best we could, which really isn't all that good, because, I mean, we were, you know, it's a pretty large radius, like, we actually mapped it out. Oh, torches, torches. Um, we mapped it out and everything, and uh, eventually Kevin just gave me OP on that server, and that way I could. Man, down to level 20, and no caves. Didn't even hit any ore on the way down, that sucks. Let me fix my hotbar here. I like having things set up a certain way. Um, well, you know, before too long here, I'll hit bedrock, and then I'll turn around, or maybe this pick will break first, either or. I'll turn around and go back upstairs. Oh, why don't you brag some more about it, Kevin? Um, oh yeah, stuff to talk about. You know, I was thinking, a lot of you guys found me, before Kurt put out that video, a lot of you guys found me just because he uh, liked and commented on one of my videos. And, I really never realized that, you know, people check out the YouTube history of, you know, of the people they watch. So that made me kind of like uber cautious when I was liking and stuff. And then I'm like, well, maybe I should start liking and commenting more. So I started to do that. Another thing you guys... Oh, shit. There's someone over there. Um, They don't see... I don't think they notice me. Um, They're not holding shift. But that means that there's a cave over there. Oh, this sucks. I can't do anything without letting go of shift. Um, that's awkward. Let's see. Well, I can go up here and check on the time. And I can't see. Oh, it looks like it's almost daytime. Ooh, and we got a zombie. Um, still, they are so close. Holy shit! Wow, how are they getting so? They're like moving so much. Oh, is it Frankie? Maybe because he is he in creative mode or something and flying around. I really have no idea. This is kind of freaking me out. Um. Well, fuck it. I need to make shit anyways. Make some sticks. Uh, hopefully that was the daytime killing him and not another player. Um, shovel. And one more pick wouldn't hurt. Alright, um... So yeah, I think they're on to me. I was standing for a while there. I can cook up my iron later. It's not that... Oh, I guess you only get one smelt out of wood. 
Yeah, it's, I've only got four pieces, so I mean, that's a bucket, which is important. And we'll go for armor first. Alright, I think I'm just gonna run out of here. Alright, oh, creeper. Kinda wanna kill him, but it's not worth it. Not worth the risk. You know, I've thought about some different traps and stuff using TNT, but... It, you know, it's just too risky to fight a creeper. They can do a lot of damage with one explosion on you. Thank you, cow. Ooh, so I guess this is the cave one of them found. I'm just going to keep moving. I do not want to get engage in PvP at such time. This is far too early to do those things. I need to find some spiders. I kind of wish I could find Frankie's death because, I mean, like I said, I really don't want to mess with cave spiders, but I could get in there, break some cobwebs, and get out. That would be, that would be nice. Some more leather, and I can make some more armor. Make some, make some pantalones, pantalones, trousers as some might call them. Slacks, breeches. Um, well, I have enough to make a chest piece. I don't know a whole bunch of other terms for shirt. Uh, other thing to talk about. Oh, so uh, Bethesda announced that they're going to make an Elder Scrolls uh, MMORPG. And I've got some mixed feelings about that. Um, I used to play a lot of EverQuest and EverQuest 2. I tried out WoW for a little bit. wasn't really my bag. Um, I don't know. I just didn't care for it. We'll get some lag there. I'm really cautious now. I mean, or not cautious. I should be more cautious, but I'm really worried. Oh, creeper. Um... It is day two, so the truce is off, and this is, oh, world border, shit. Tower of Pumpkins, oh, I think they gave Frankie creative mode, oh god. That's something we tend to do in these games, is once you die, you can go ahead and, go ahead and have creative mode and just start derping around. We try to avoid you know, messing up the other players, so maybe we shouldn't do such a thing, but... I mean, it gives the person who died something to do. Um... Oh, yeah. Elder Scrolls, I don't know. I, you know, I mean, I love Skyrim. I've already logged, like, 120 hours into it. I know there's people with far more. Like, Garrett says his uncle or something like that. Ooh. Buddy. You know, I was just going to try and sprint over to that tree, but I am not going to take the risk. I shouldn't do things like that. Um, the only one with full health, that's cool. Ooh, got a cave. Ooh, man, that's frightening. I hear... Oh, just coal. Yeah, screw it. Well, fuck it, I need it. Put down some of these so we don't have any mob spawns while we're in here. Pick them up on my way out. Um. Grab this cool. But yeah, I used to play a lot of EverQuest 2. Like, too much. More than I should have. Uh. Yeah, you know, that's the thing with an MMO. They're they're very time consuming. It's almost like having a job. Uh, I mean, the time it takes to get good at an MMO. I mean, you join a guild and then you have to you have to do things like guild meetings and some gr some guilds are real real into that kind of stuff and you get in trouble. Ooh, ooh chicken egg. That means chickens. Jesus. Yes. 
Um. Oh man, I was hoping there'd be some more chickens. Oh, Frankie probably just teleported near him. Um. Oh. All right. Let's, uh. I don't plan on starting a chicken farm, but if I can get a decent bit of eggs gathered up, it'd be worth a try. And then, like I said, I didn't intend on um, camping out in one spot. I won't need to now with all these baby chicken or with all these chickens all over the place. Uh, for the next night, I don't know how long it takes a chicken to grow up. I think it's like 30 minutes, so it wouldn't be worth it. Uh, might as well just get rid of the eggs. No one else can have them either, though. Yeah, I've got close to a stack of arrows worth of feathers on me, and that would be just fantastic. Phantasmal, rather. Um. Cut my way down this tree. Um, I'm really not caring for this map much. Oh, God. He just scared the piss out of me. I am not dealing with them whatsoever. There's no need to. I haven't seen any dogs. Yes. Do not talk to stranger. Stranger danger. That kind of stuff. Yep. Fuck you, Mr. Skeleton. Oh, looks like someone else had my idea of setting the world on fire. Oh, maybe they didn't. Huh. Some men just want to watch the world burn. I don't want to set the world on fire. Yeah, I'm a terrible singer. I apologize. Um, it is. It is very. Like, I have to say, you know, the Minecraft guys always talk about how intense this game is. And I'm going to kill this sheep. I'm going to make some paintings. Uh, I did that in the last game, but I didn't get to. Come here, you son of a bitch. I think I found our cave for the evening, hopefully. More chicken. Uh. Oh, shit, I hear another skeleton. Gotta be really careful. These forests are just a perfect place for a mob to hide. God, I am all freaking out now. Um, I may have a full suit of leather armor here. Oh god, this is frightening. Oh! Yep, they're safe. T. U. Don't know. No idea where they're going with this. Are they saying letters? Oh, fuck. Turt? So I believe the road border is also that way, so I'm almost certain wandering this way. Turtle. I used to have a pet turtle. Named him Donatello after uh, after my favorite Ninja Turtle. Um, it's kind of a sad story. Uh, my dad was a uh, Marine, and they were out on a march once, and he found a turtle on the side of the road, and someone had stepped on it, and so he grabbed it and he brought it home and. The, the turtle had a cracked shell, and it, it looked pretty bad. Like it was, it was really sad. I, I felt really bad for this turtle, but he started to heal. Though I guess uh, it did shorten his life substantially. He only lived, you know, a couple of years after that. And turtles, oh, it's getting dark. And I think I lost that cave, so we can just dig in right over here. But turtles are known to live, you know, kind of long. Ooh, right next to the dirt, so this won't look suspicious at all. I see a spider, and I really want that spider. 
but it's too risky. I hear a lot of fall damage being taken, and it's making me rather paranoid. Ooh, gravel, that's good. Because gravel means flint. And flint is a major component in arrows. So I'm going to harvest a good bit of this up. Um, but yeah, you know, turtles are known to live rather long. And uh, Donnie didn't. He only lived for a couple of years. Um, I still really like them. Turtles are good pets to have. I mean, I guess they're kind of like fish, but a little bit better. Because you can take them out of their out of their tank and play with them and but I mean they're not like cats or dogs or anything like that oh hey look cool um but yeah if you get a chance to get a pet turtle I recommend it oh oh 